Ezra Venechemiah, Ezra 9. Now when these things were done, the princes came to me, saying, The people of Yashadael and the priests and the Leviim have not separated themselves from the people of the lands, doing according to their abominations, even of the Kena'anim, the Chitim, the Perizim, the Yavasim, the Amanim, the Moavim, the Mitzrim, and the Amorim. For they have taken of their daughters for themselves and for their sons, so that the holy seed have mingled themselves with the people of those lands. Yea, the hand of the princes and rulers has been chief in this transgression. And when I heard at this thing, I renteth my garment and my mantle, and plucked off the hair of my head and of my beard, and sat down astonished. Then were assembled unto me every one that trembled at the words of the Elohim of Yashadael, because of the transgression of those that had been carried away. And I sat astonished until the evening sacrifice. And at the evening sacrifice I arose up from my heaviness, and having rent my garment and my mantle, I fell upon my knees and spread out my hands unto El Yahuwah Elohai and said, O oh, my Elohim, I am ashamed and blush to lift up my face to you, O oh, my Elohim. Rather, my Elohim, for our iniquities are increased over our head and our trespass is grown up unto the heavens. Since the days of our fathers have we been in a great trespass unto this day, and for our iniquities have we, our kings, and our priests, been delivered into the hand of the kings of the lands, to the sword, to captivity, and to a spoil, and to confusion of face, as it is this day. And now for a little space, grace has been shown from Yahuwah Eloheinu to leave us a remnant to escape and to give us a nail in his holy place that our Elohim may lighten our eyes and give us a little reviving in our bondage. For we were bondmen, yet our Elohim has not forsaken us in our bondage but has extended mercy unto us in the sight of the kings of Persia to give us a reviving, to set up at the house of our Elohim and to repair at the desolations thereof and to give us a wall in Yahudah and in Yerushalayim. And now, O our Elohim, what shall we say after this? For we have forsaken your commandments, which you have commanded by your servants, the prophets, saying, The land unto which ye go to possess it is an unclean land with the filthiness of the people of the lands, with their abominations, which have filled it from one end to another with their uncleanness. Now therefore give not your daughters unto their sons, Neither take their daughters unto your sons, nor seek their peace or their wealth forever, that ye may be strong, and eat at the good of the land, and leave it for an inheritance to your children forever. And after all that is come upon us for our evil deeds and for our great trespass, seeing that you, our Elohim, have punished us less than our iniquities deserve, and have given us such deliverance as this, should we again break your commandments and join in affinity with the people of these abominations? Should not you be angry with us till you cons had consumed us, so that there should be no remnant nor escaping? O Yahuwah Elohai of Yashadael, 
You are righteous. For we remain yet escaped, as it is this day. Behold, we are before you in our trespasses, for we cannot stand before you because of this. <laughs> 